I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado. Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies. Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild duck. Sample home cooked delicacies. Eat where the locals eat. Visit Colorado Springs. There's so much to see and do in this post apocalyptic winter wonderland. Meet new people. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy, Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me, uh, first round's on, on you. Red Planet was not humanity's greatest achievement. Transferring the complexity of the human mind to machines was. So they can succeed where we failed. So they can build us a home on that distant, dusty rock. Today, Amy reaches Mars and begins their mission. Amy! Are you with us? Of course, I'm with you, Houston. When you don't have big armies, you have to be very flexible and, 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 and clever, yeah. It was beautiful. Everything was very complex. So for commandos, first challenge, commandos one, two, is always been 
putting together a team that could make a game. And then the second challenge, obviously, is making games that were innovating. I mean, innovation as a risk. I mean, doing something that nobody has done before. We started experimenting with the units, with having unique skills, unique abilities, each of these other units. And to be fair, I mean, it was quite it was a lot of uncertainty until we tested the game for the first time. And obviously not the game, but just a little bit of gameplay after one year on development, which was quite of a liberation. I mean, seeing that the whole thing was working. Commandos is part of my life. It was really, I mean, a dream that, that became true. I mean, uh, making a game with all difficulties, I mean, gathering the money to make a, a game that back then it was a low budget game. Games we've always tried to do have always been like very strategic, but strategic in sense of a military strategy, not the concept of what a strategy is understood to be on video games. When we talk about games, talking about a strategy, it's about building. And in the real world, I mean, war has an element of building things. But when people are thinking about Hannibal or Julius Caesar or Napoleon or Rommel or Montgomery, or they're never thinking about that the big skills is logistics or even building. The two biggest goals we wanted to achieve with Praetorians was First was making a game that was a 3D strategy game, and second, making it with complex units where you could have versatility and they, they could have more than one way of being used. We could have been sitting on commandos without doing anything for the next 20 years. So I think if we're doing this now with Calypso, it's because we think that Calypso can do a good job and uh, being loyal to heritage and, and, and what commandos means for a lot of people. The essence within you it is who we are. In dead or in living, it's nay and it's far. In human and the armor and beasts of the land, it flows through the forest, it breathes the sand. Lightning and thunder and crackling waves, a land torn asunder by night and by day. The Empress eternal with death and decay, to march upon cities with hearts and with faith. They gather the wheelers and build mighty walls. Unleashed on them all, so in these final hours, we'll raise and rebuild to take back what was ours. i
Outnumbered and outgunned, mech commanders enlisted in the Phantom Brigade use an AI prototype to predict the future actions of the enemy and counter their every move on the battlefield. Missions are divided into turns or sequences. Each takes a few seconds of real time and consists of two phases. Commanders begin in the planning phase. Here, real time is suspended and commanders take as long as needed to plot their squad's actions using the timeline. The timeline is used to visualize predicted unit movement, check for potential collisions, and issue orders to counter enemy plans at precise moments. An action like an attack or shield brace can be placed in parallel with movement, but cannot overlap another. Once the plan is locked in, the execution phase begins and real-time resumes. It is here that commanders can see their plans unfold. But once physics takes over, there can be unintended consequences. Commanders will need to adapt to these new outcomes at the start of the next sequence. There is much work to be done since the invasion. We must take back what is ours. We are counting on you, Commander. were built, and powerful cities collapsed, when the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history. It was an age of empires. Peggy 16.